Hey y'all, it's me, Jeffrey Zapata, and I know it's been a while, okay, but hey, I'm back, <laughs> and today I'm going to be recommending you five slice of life slash drama manga that you should be reading right now. Let's get started, shall we? Okay, so the first manga I want to recommend to you guys is called My Brother's Husband, or the Japanese title, Adoto no Oto. <clears throat> now, this manga is about, yeah, it's about Yaichi and, and, and his daughter Kano, and they're visited by uh, Mike Flanagan, who is the husband of his twin brother, Ryoshi, who is deceased. I really like this manga because of how it handles gay issues and shows like what gay people have to go through. <clears throat> and, and, it, and, it, and it humanizes them, showing them that you know they're just as human as uh, we are. I just got a notification. Hold on. Alright. <clears throat> and yeah, I just really like how it humanizes them. I like how, how it's not like, oh, oh, Yaichi was gay the whole time, or, you know, Mike starts flirting him or some shit, you know, and I like that, I really do, and, um, <clears throat> but, like, instead, it shows how Yaichi's views on homosexuality gradually change the more he, the more he hangs out with Mike, and, <clears throat> yeah, and he and he just starts to see that you know maybe that that gay people actually aren't that different from him or any other person. You feel me? <clears throat> oh yeah, let, let me tell you about this part. All right, and this is not really much of a spoiler. It's just, it's like in the beginning. So yeah. Uh, <clears throat> There's a part where, where Yaichi's getting out of the shower, right? And he, he usually walks in his underwear. But then he starts thinking, Oh wait, um, what if what if Mike's what, what if Mike actually starts checking out my body? You know, something like that. But then he but then he, but then he but then he starts to think that that's kind of ridiculous because that's like that's like saying that every single woman that sees your body is going to uh, it's going to freaking want to have sex with you or some shit you know he he, he, re he he realizes that but he still puts his clothes on and get to get and gets out the shower you know and that's actually and it, and it shows off like how he's the slight homophobia that he has, but that changes the more he hangs out with, him, with Mike. And yeah, if you're if you're looking for um, oh, oh yeah, and, and it shows off the little bit of homophobia in, that goes on in Japan. And yeah, if you're looking for a slice of life manga with gay characters, or you're just looking for a, you know, a different slice, slice of life story, then definitely give my brother's husband a chance, because it's just, it's really great, and I just can't recommend it enough. Next month. Oh yeah, here's another note about um my brother's husband. Uh, the, all, the manga card that did my brother's husband is actually gay himself. So, uh, yeah, that's interesting. And and also, I've looked at some of his past work and... Hmm. Ugh. You, you, you don't want to look at that. Just just look at my brother's husband. Just, just, just look at that one. Next manga I want to recommend to you guys is going to be Boys on the Run. Now, 
this manga is about how a guy who ends up working at a dead end job works hard to become a boxer. really much I, I can't say about what's on the run but you know I, I will I'll say this <laughs> this manga is pretty funny I, I laughed at a couple, a couple panels here and there you know and, and, and you know in a way this manga is kind of you know um, yeah, cause like <clears throat> there, there are times where you see the main character try, you know, so hard, but yet life just, 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 just kicks his ass, man. You know, man. And even, oh yeah, by the way, the, the main character gets his ass whooped like <laughs> a lot. Um, <clears throat> and even though, like, he doesn't necessarily win. Win his his fight whenever he fights, but it still works out. You know what? It still works out somehow, and I think that's what's beautiful about this manga. And why you should read Boys on the Run, besides the fact that it's funny, but in a sense, it's kind of beautiful. You know? And um, yeah, I really recommend this manga. It's only 10 volumes long, uh, with 116 chapters, so, uh, yeah, if you do decide to read Boys on the Run, then definitely enjoy it, and I definitely hope you enjoy it. Now, next one. This manga is about, well, I forgot to tell the name of the next series. Kono, the next manga I'll be recommending to you guys is Konodori or Story. Now, this manga is about how it's about an, obst- an obstetrician named Kono- Konodori uh, Sakura, who is a pianist by night, but you know nobody really knows him, <clears throat> and and how he faces the the challenges and the struggles of being an obstetrician. This, this manga is really great. And <clears throat> even though like I haven't read that much, I'm only like four volumes in, I, I can still recommend it because I just think it's that good. You know, just seeing what actually try to save the lives of babies and their patients, the obstetricians, seeing what they have to go through, it's just like, just really, it hits you in the feels, you know, uh, there's actually a, there's, a, there's actually a story in uh, Konodori where they talk about uh, a teen pregnancy, where like this girl got pregnant and her family and the boy, like her parents and the boy and the boyfriend's dad, are talking about whether they should abort the baby or not. And oh, it's it's just it's really serious, but it's not like, but just 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 really. Weird. I also think like it it doesn't like it's one of those manga that just needs to stay a manga. It doesn't need to have an anime. But but there there was there is a there was a uh, there was a um, a live action TV show based on the manga which I haven't watched at least not yet. Will I watch it? Maybe I don't know. But <coughs> uh, yeah. What the fuck was I saying? What was I? All oh, right. <coughs> I was talking about how how I how I think it doesn't deserve a manga. An anime. Yeah, I think this mon- this manga needs to just stay a manga. Doesn't need an anime because, like, I just seriously think it's like an. Inst- and it's kind of hard to re- recreate 
the feelings you get within within the manga and into an anime. I mean, it's been done before, but you just really need talented people and studio and a really good studio to put it. But I just don't. I don't want it to be given to a, a studio and they just you know they, they just fuck it up. I mean, just look at the Junji Ito collection. When, when I um when I watched it, I and I didn't really read. I didn't really read Junji some of Junji Ito's work. I I, I just went straight into the the Junji Ito collection anime. I this is a side story, by the way. Um, and I just thought like, wow, this is really good and scary. But but like when when I actually read some of Ito's work like um, on, I'm trying to can't think of them right now but <clears throat> yeah I, I, I realize now that Junji Ito collection is it's just like it's just not that good it's kind of average compared to his work but <clears throat> yeah well anyways read Konodori I think it's great I just think you'll love it. Next manga. So here's another here's another um note about Konodori. I just think that the main character is just really good. The the doctor he's, he's just a you know, Sakura is just a good doctor, man. You know? Not you. Him. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, that, that that's it. Okay, so the next manga I will want I will be recommending to you is called "The Sanko Gyaru Is Mega Cute." <clears throat> okay, so this manga is about how about this boy named Natsukawa who moves from um. From Tokyo. Wait, his name uh, the boy's name is Tsubasa Matsukawa, and he he moves all the way from Tokyo to Okayo. And then he meets uh, this girl who is a local too. He's, he's a local in Hokkaido. And <clears throat> and then they they meet and then they hit it off and then they become friends I I just I really love this manga because it's just, just just how wholesome it is you know like every chapter like, I read it just you know it just puts me at ease you know it's, it's very relaxing you know and there are some times where you know I, like wow it's very cute If, if you're looking like for something that's deep and psychological don't expect that from this because this is just a simple it's just a simple wholesome story about a boy a boy moving from Tokyo from Tokyo to Okayo and making friends alright looking deep looking psychological about that and so like if you are looking for like something like that this manga probably isn't for you but i would still recommend you to give it a shot because because of just how just how good it is man it's only 33 chapters and i it'll be a good read and quick too so yeah next month okay the last manga going to be recommending to you guys and I think that you should absolutely be reading right now it's going to be good night or Oyasumi Poon oh my god yo can I just say that this manga is just this is just a masterpiece can I just say that no <clears throat> this manga is, is about this 
boy named Pum 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 Yum, who is depicted as a bird character, a, a bird caricature, as well as the rest of his family. And and we see how his and we see his experiences in life and how he feels from from childhood all the way through adulthood. And boy, is it one huge fucking ride, bro? Oh my god! Like I recently just uh, finished it. Uh, like I finished it physically, but, but I will be finishing it digitally as well. Like I'm, like I read the Viz translation. I'm, I want to read the Viz translation. I already read the Viz translation, but I'm also going to read the online translation. So yeah, there's that. And um, <clears throat> all right. So so just this this, this manga, man. Like it's so dark. It's dark, man. Like when you get like when you read it. It's dark, alright? Because, like, it just hits you in places where it's like it just. Like, it, like in places you don't want it to, you know? Because, like, it's just, it's just very real, you know? It's dark in a realistic sense, you know? Because it's not like something like Berserk where it's dark, but it's dark in an unrealistic sense, you know? And. <clears throat> With Poon Poon, it's, it's, it's just dark because you, you can actually relate to it. And <clears throat> but, yeah, like, the only, I don't really, the only way, like, you can actually try to get, 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 get to, um, the only way you, you know how I feel. How I feel about Poon Poon is just like, just to just you know read it, you know, because then you'll actually know what I, I am talking about, you know, and because there's just so many amazing things about it that I just that I just don't know where to start. And besides that, the artwork and the characters are amazing. But I will say this. Gunai Kun Kun is not for everybody. And, uh, yeah. Oof, man. That is an amazing manga. And you should absolutely be reading it. If you're not. 100%. And it is my, and it is my favorite manga. It is my number one favorite manga. Oh my gosh. Oof. Now that is going to be it for the five. For the five uh, slice of life slash drama manga that you should be reading right now, and <clears throat> if you enjoyed the video, please drop a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. See you on the flip side. Flip side. Flip side. Peace.